Good day, everybody. Welcome to my life, my travel. Well, here's the latest update on my apartment. See, everything looks pretty bare today, which is Tuesday, the 12th of October. Got everything all boxed up because, come on camera, focus. Because we're moving to Germany. So I only got four days left in the States, here in Kentucky. So through a lot of hard work and a lot of Motrin and heating pads, I managed to box up all this stuff. Bedroom, all done. all packed up so everything empty and cleaned up just let a little light in each of these rooms so we are ready to go so do a little pause also, I'm uh, putting some things into my Jeep that I don't want the movers to pack. Give away this microwave to Casey and pretty much everything else is going to be given to Kevin. I got another crock pot to give away, some cleaning stuff, a little electric hot mop. I really like that mop. Pour water in it. It steams. And cleans up everything so I'm about ready to go all I'm waiting on is the movers to show up which it's now according to the clock 804 they're supposed to be here between 8 and 5 p.m. that's a long time so then I got my COVID test to go do and move into a hotel tonight finally can rest my back so I'm just doing a little cleaning up vacuum the floor again I've been constantly cleaning and so that I don't have everything to do after the workers so as long as the workers don't trash the place too much you know I can just do a quick sweep mop vacuum wipe down a couple little things and I am gone so let me continue on here this work in progress ciao so now this is what the apartment looks like right now only a couple boxes left the bass drum empty 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 really really empty this is the bedroom now only thing here is echo in a few clothes that I have to wear so everything else is pretty much gone the movers are still here so we're just gonna close up the blinds or maybe we'll leave them open and let some light in so only a couple wardrobes left to move and then it's to the hotel so well today I'd like to say hello everybody and um uh, what's today the 13th of October I'm losing track of days because I'm moving to Germany in a couple days I'm at my apartment for the last time on the checkout inspection to get my deposit back so no more Christopher Square so this will be the last look at the old apartment Let's look at Christopher Square. 
selling my Jeep this afternoon. That'll be a little travel money. So, we go in and take a final look. the all yet let's see it is oh shit they turned it off was hoping it was still on but they cut it yep it is off so don't know how this is gonna work in case I st <laughs> still need to do something but my bedroom, my closet, of was. But it looks good. I did some heavy duty cleaning in here. So I left the vacuum cleaner just in case. Let me check the defrost in the fridge. Get rid of the ice. Which is still frozen. You know what I did not look in? This closet. So, I only got one set of records to take, but I did clean it out. So, let's put that in a little basket. Let me go get the lady and we shall be through all right so just got a green light on clearing the apartment so i'll get my deposit back it's gonna take two weeks so whatever it's better than nothing so it's my last little trip to walmart now and just want to get some little for food for in the morning and for Friday morning which is my date that I fly out so I have a little stuff to eat dinner I'll figure that out pizza whatever pizza chicken wings for dinner so anyway go get a little breakfast stuff to keep in the hotel room so over to Walmart one more time <laughs> Here's yet another thing I'm doing. Uh, another thing to get off the list of things to do. Sell the Jeep. This, I hate to get rid of it, but I uh, got to. Wish I could take it with me, but too many things have to be done to the old girl, but this was a very nice Jeep. Took me a lot of places. Traveled everywhere with it. But now it's time to sell it. So I'll be done with that. We spent a lot of good time fishing in this Jeep. So waiting for this young lady to show up. We will do this transaction here at the Hardin County Clerk Vehicle Registration Place. So that'd be another thing off the list. The only thing I'm waiting on that is my COVID test to come back. So and the journey continues. So, and this is vehicle registration for Hardin County in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Very nice building. Very big. For, for 
But I think um, it's going to be close. I think. I don't know stop. what yet. So in about nine hours and 30 minutes, we'll be in Germany. So it's been a bit, a little longer in Dallas than expected after leaving um, Kentucky, but everything went smooth. With no problem with the vaccine certificate, the COVID test, everything went smooth. You know, see how it goes when I get to Germany, but uh, it was all right. I thought it would be some problems. Uh, you don't have the right test, the right certificate, or whatever, but it was pretty good. So, yeah. It's been a long time getting to this day, so. Uh, getting ready to go. Be there in another nine and a half hours, so. See y'all again when I touch down in Frankfurt. Bye. Also, I'm gonna say if this works out right, I got three seats by myself. Because hopefully the plane ain't too full. As you can see, lots of seats. So we'll see how this works out. So. Here so, today, hold on. we are in down flight with a little delayed landing, and so we're trying to turn this plane around as quickly as possible. And you can assist us today by stowing your luggage and then taking your seats as soon as possible. If you're in the first row of each cabin, we need to ask that all carry on items be placed in the overhead bin. If you need any help with this, please let us know. And once again, welcome on board. Well, the plane is scheduled to leave late. We boarded early. So guess what? Uh, well, no, we're supposed to be gone already, so we're late. <laughs> so we, but they're going to try to leave as soon as possible, so whatever. So here we go. See you in Frankfurt. Bye.